Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Sydney if you are new here. Today we are talking all about my fall wardrobe essentials for 2022 and I am super excited for today's video. I just like shopped my own closet. I have so many really good basic fall pieces and I've just been motivated to shop my own closet and put outfits together with pieces I already have versus feeling like I need to go out and buy a whole new fall wardrobe but I already have a fall wish list video posted so that will be all of the items that I'm hoping to pick up for this fall but this video is pieces that I already know and love that I already have in my closet so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video but before we get into it make sure to subscribe if you haven't already leave this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out so much thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. It's insane. We're going to be doing a giveaway really soon. Um, but I just wanted to thank all of you guys for your support. Follow me on TikTok if you want to see more outfits of the days. I post a lot on there. It's at Sydney Rickhasner. It'll also be linked down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so we're starting off with basic. So I have a couple of basic white rib long sleeve shirts. These I feel like are really an essential and a staple because these go underneath vests, cardigans, blazers, crew neck sweaters, just like anything. And I love just like a crisp white long sleeve. I don't love a black long sleeve on myself. I just like love bright colors on the top because I feel like they just like brighten up my face and make me look a little bit more alive. So these are my two favorite long sleeve shirts. So I have this one from Aritzia. This is the Wilfred go-to. If you've been following my channel for a long time, then you know that I love this one, but it's just like a really nice, super duper soft ribbed white t-shirt and I have it in a size small. And then this one is from Jerf Avenue. It's a little bit of a newer pickup for me. I got it, I think, back in the spring. But this one is a lot more structured than the Aritzia one. It's 100% cotton, so it's a little bit more stiff. But I like it a lot for underneath blazers. And it's also, like, not really see-through at all. Obviously, it's white fabric, so it's going to have a little bit of see-through. But I really love this one a lot. Um, it goes really good underneath blazers. I like how these are both long line because for fall you want to be nice and warm. Um, and also with the Eurizia one, I feel like it, oh no it doesn't. I thought I had like a round off bottom, but it doesn't. But these are my two favorites. These are like the basis, basic, basic, basic part of your fall wardrobe. Okay, and then some turtlenecks. So I actually got these two turtlenecks from Uniqlo and I've been so, so impressed with them. I picked them up when I was on my way to Indiana in February and it was gonna be like three degrees and I didn't have anything to like layer underneath all my clothes like long johns and these ones are like their heat tech but I love them so much because they're so lightweight, but they look like a skims top. Like they really cinch you in and make you look really, really nice. And they're like 30 bucks. So you really can't beat it. And I feel like these are really nice just to have like to wear with dress pants or just like wear with anything with jeans. These are like really cute because they're so thin, like I said. So it's literally just like a t-shirt, but it gives you a little bit of something something with the turtleneck vibe. And I got them both in a size small and they're pretty tight. I probably could have got a medium. Um, if I didn't want them to be so tight. But like I said, I got these to go like underneath my clothes when I was gonna be in freezing cold weather. But I have the black and then I also have the off-white, which I think is really cute also. This one is like pretty see-through. You can see the hanger um, obviously through it. But with a nude bra, it works really well. But I love these so much and I love like a super affordable find because these would easily be like 50 bucks at a Ritzy or something. So $29.90, I believe at Uniqlo. So you really can't beat that. Okay, the next item we are discussing is a good crew neck sweater. So I have a ton of cardigans, but I didn't have a lot of crew neck sweaters, which are just like easy to throw on, just like sweatshirts, but they're a little bit more dressy, a little bit more like you put your outfit together. So this one is a relatively new pickup, but this is a navy, knit sweater from brandy melville i believe this one is called the brianna cotton sweater and i just love it so much it's just like so cute i feel like it reminds me a lot of when i used to wear a school uniform back in the day but i just like love that look i feel like it's very preppy and cute in the navy and i love this one because it's oversized and it's also 100 percent cotton that's what i look for when i shop at like more affordable places like Brandy Melville. It's a, if it's 100% cotton, then you know it's gonna be pretty good quality and it can wash well versus like 
polyester items and acrylic items like they tend to peel and just like look really gross after a while so this one's 100% cotton which I love a lot I was just like wearing this with jeans and sneakers the other day I think that this one would be really cute with like a slip dress if you like throw it over the top so I really am obsessed with this one and I want to get the cream color too and it's only like 38 bucks so it's really affordable especially for 100% cotton I feel like that's a really good deal Okay, the next items are my beloved cardigans. So these are my three favorite cardigans. For the fall, I love this first one. This one is from Aritzia. I don't remember the name of this one, but if you go look on one of my fall Aritzia hauls, I will link it down below. I will have the name of this. Their fall collection hasn't really dropped yet. So I don't know if they'll be bringing this one back, but I just like loved the color of this. It just looks like pumpkin spice latte thanksgiving like i wore this i believe for thanksgiving with black leather pants and i just thought that that was like the cutest outfit ever but you can button it up all the way or like wear it open but i just like really really love this one and i got this one in a size large so it can be oversized i think i get all my cardigans in a size large i just want them to be as big as possible because i just love the cozy look obviously okay and then the next cardigan again if you are a regular on my channel then you know that i love this cardigan this is my favorite piece that i have in my closet this is the hush knit cardigan from maritzia and i have this one in a size medium so this one runs a little bit larger this is a merino wool sweater and it is like the softest sweater ever the hush knit collection i can't speak enough about it it's just like so so pretty and i wear this cardigan with like a high neck um, either long sleeve or tank top underneath and jeans and white sneakers and it's my favorite <laughs> outfit of all time I love this one it has really really beautiful pearlized buttons and I sell these like in a set there's like pants there's a skirt I don't have the full set but this is like one of my most worn pieces I think so I really really love this one okay and then it's not fall without just like the chunkiest knit of all time this one is another favorite of mine I have this one in a size large and it is called the fuzzy cardigan from Oakenfort Oakenfort is a little bit tricky because they don't actually have like names for their items <laughs> I feel like they bring the same item in with just like a different title but that's what it was called when I bought it it is a wool blend um, I actually think it's actually 100% wool, but it's this beautiful chocolate brown, nice and oversized in the size large, and I just like love it so much. I posted a TikTok in this, like an outfit of the day, and I just wore this, my effortless pants with like a white tee underneath and chucks, and it's like the cutest outfit ever and so easy. I also love a button down moment for fall. So I am wearing this button down right now. It's like a cream color. It's very much so cream, but I feel like on camera it comes up kind of like off white. This is like one of my other favorites. This is the boyfriend um, button up shirt from Maritzia. So I love this one. And then this is another one of my favorites. So this one's black, which I feel like is a little bit more fall-ish. Um, versus I feel like this cream one is pulls very summer and spring to me but this is the Jesse long sleeve from Wilfred at Aritzia this one is in a size medium and I just like love this shirt I love that it's like really soft it's like a jersey material so it's not like your classic button-up shirt material like this one so it's really soft hangs really beautifully doesn't wrinkle or, or crinkle or anything like that so that's really nice um, this is one of my favorite items to pair with black leather pants and sneakers. I wear that outfit like all the time. I think that's another one of the outfit of the days that's on my TikTok. But I really love this one. And I think that this one was like maybe 50 or 60 bucks. So it wasn't like total break the bank like the other Ritzia button ups that can be like 88 to to $100. But I really love this one and I think it's just so good for fall. Paired underneath a black blazer as well is really cute. It's just an easy piece okay moving on to leather pants i've got two of my favorite leather pants here they are both from aritzia huge shock not really <laughs> these first ones are the nightly pant and i got these ones on sale last year so i feel like they're going to be kind of hard to track down but this is just like a basic wide leg leather trouser with like no buttons so you just like pull them on which makes it really easy and nice I just like love the wide laid look like a wide leather pant I think just like looks so classy and it's so nice for fall it's like almost impossible to wear leather pants in the spring and summer because of how hot it is in California like 
who wants to have their leg sweating in leather? It's just like really gross. But I have these in a size six and they're really loose and oversized. There's like so many faux leather like trouser pants on the internet, so I will link some similar ones down below for you guys. Okay, and then this next pair of leather pants is also from Aritzia. These ones are also from Wilfred in a size eight, and these ones are more of like a cargo style leather pant. They're just like a straight leg. Um, they're not really like a cargo style, but they're not like a fitted, they're not like the Molina pants. They're more like on the looser side, which I really like, but these ones are just like so cute. I love how like these ones really cinch you in at the waist. Um, and like I said, I wear these ones a lot. And I also like how the back has no pockets, but they're a little bit tighter, so they make your butt look really good. Um, but I really like these ones, and they are tall girl friendly. These are just like the regular. I can't remember the name of these, you guys. But I will have all the fall hauls where I showed most of these items linked down below for you guys. Okay, and then tailored pants are also a staple for me during the fall. They're a staple year round. But these are my two current favorites of the moment. So these are two pairs of effortless pants. So the first pair are just like the black and the traditional Japanese crepe fabric. I have these ones in the tall version and like the regular version in the crepe is too short for me but the regular version and like the hold suiting is fine so i have these ones in the long version and they are long you guys i'm five seven and they are like literally dragging on the ground whenever i wear them but i can't decide if i want to get them hemmed or keep them long so that they look nice with um heels but i obviously don't want the ground to be like destroying the bottom of the band so i'm probably gonna have to get them hemmed but i get these ones in a size 10 and then i just get the waist tailored because i like them to be looser on my thigh i don't like a tight thigh dress pant type of look it's just like not my vibe but i didn't get the waist taken in on the black ones but i did for these cream ones that i'm going to show you guys in a second so i don't know the sizing is like all over the place depending on the fabric but i feel like i am a size six to eight normally and then i get the effortless pants like all over the dress pants in a size 10 because i feel like they just like run a little bit smaller if you have thicker thighs and a bigger butt so that's just like my general consensus on <laughs> here it's the address pants but then i also have this a really pretty color which i wore a lot in the spring but i feel like this really goes in fall as well like i envision myself with this in like a black turtleneck i feel like that would look really really cute um but i love my effortless pants you guys i really do and i really do think that they live up to the hype if you guys want like a full dedicated aritzia basics video i haven't done one of those in a while but if you guys want those on the effortless pants i think i'm gonna film that anyways but leave a comment <laughs> down below if you'd be interested in seeing it okay the next items are blazers which blazers are always going to be in they've been in for a while now but i just feel like they're such a good staple and i'm so glad that i've been investing into really nice blazers that i like that i'll have forever so this first blazer is the sorrento blazer from aritzia from wilfred i have this one in a size medium um i believe that they brought this out in a chocolate brown already for the fall but i don't know if i've seen the black yet but i've definitely seen it in store it's just like the most perfect blazer single breast i'm not really into double breasted blazers i just don't really love the look but this one is just so perfect and then also my gray drift avenue blazer which is so beautiful every time i see this piece hanging up or like i hold it up i'm like wow how beautiful is this but I have it in the size medium. I love the gray. I just like envision myself wearing this with the Brandy Melville crew neck sweater, jeans, sneakers, a bag, hair up in a bun as always. And it's just so cute. But these are my two favorite, favorite blazers. You need a blazer for this fall, you guys. If you don't have it, you need one. It literally goes with everything. I am just obsessed. Okay, next item is a wool coat. So for the fall, it's not like so cold where you need like a wool jacket, but I like this just like a little wool moment that I have. This is the Ghana jacket in the short version in the black. I really like this a lot and I feel like I wear it so much and it's like really warm, but it's not like overpowering and like you're driving in the car with like a long jacket and it's like annoying. I love that it's short 
and comfortable and i just like love the black i love the ghana jacket you guys know me if you guys love aritzia i know you love the ghana jacket so if you don't have one for the fall you need one this is my third one that i have and i love every every single one of them and i just don't feel like there's something that will ever go out of style so this is for sure 100 percent an essential for the fall and then for jeans, I have a lot of jean videos on my channel and I've shown a lot of my favorite pairs of light wash denim. So I want to show you guys a couple of darker wash denim for the fall because I feel like that's really cute. So I have these vintage Levi's 501s, which I love so much. They're just vintage 501 XX. They're a 36 waist and a 36 length. So the length is super good on me. Um, but the waist I got taken in. So here's just like a little tip for you guys. I take it in and I tell them to just put two darts in the back and then it just like kind of cinches the waist in a little bit without like pulling in too tight. But these are obviously like really oversized and I can wear these like super low waist. I can wear them like cuffed up if I want to wear them with sneakers or boots or something like that. But these are just like so good and I got these at Drop Your Denim in Covina, California. They have a lot of really great Levi jeans, so I like these a lot. Okay, and then the next pair of jeans I'm actually wearing right now, if you guys can't tell, it's a little bit later. So I went out, and then of course I like got something on them, but these are the Citizens of Humanity Anina jeans, and they're calling them like the Anina trouser jeans, but they're just like really cute. They're just like a, kind of like a wide leg, trouser moment but I really like them they fit really well I got these in a size 29 and then I got them tailored also I just wanted them to be just like loose and comfy wear them a little bit like a lower on the waist um so yeah I really like these and I love the wash of them I feel like it's just so pretty and so cute and these fit really really well these ones are citizens like I said they're pretty expensive they're like 238 dollars so yikes but i got these on sale at anthropology which i feel like is a really good tip anthropology always has their denim on sale so if you just like check in when they're doing like the 40 percent off or 25 percent off off sale you can get a pretty good deal on them and yeah so those are my two <laughs> favorite pairs of dark wash denim all right, you guys, that was it for today's video. Those were my fall wardrobe essentials for 2022. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.